Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, episode two with Cynthia. Yeah. We uh, done your irons just a little bit earlier. We're going to take a look at the driver now. All pretty new stuff. T one mm. hundreds. You've got a Sim two Max here. It's good. It's good. So, I mean, you know, anything we get, you know, will need to be a significant improvement Definitely. because it's, it is all new gear. You've already invested, you know, some some decent amount of money in, in these clubs. So. Uh, we're on our toes here Definitely. to try and get something to outperform it. It'll be a challenge. How is that one for you? It's okay. But hooks and blocks, so mm. kind of out to the right, sometimes shapes back, sometimes yeah. stays out there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Um, what distance do you do you normally see from it? Like I'll carry it to on the course around two ten. Okay. And Cynthia, you were fit just at a golf club a demo day yeah, uh, just for a this demo day. yeah mm -hmm. so what did you walk in with that day what, what were you testing against um, this the callaway xr with a black tie okay yeah um and, and what did you gain was there significant distance oh, gains lot. yeah quite I think a lot i was carrying at 185 and then it jumped up to two something okay so nice. you did yeah. yeah you gained some yeah some good yardage with i saw it. that and i was like okay done <laughs> take yeah. my credit card yeah. <laughs> Ventus, uh, stock Ventus here, 5R. Yeah, that's what I... That's not... That's the miss? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice, Cynthia. That's fine. Yeah, that's the one that's going to kill your XR there. So it kind of gets up there. It's a bit right to left. It's got some chase on it. Uh, 215 going out to 242. Hopefully. It's pretty good too. It's mm -hmm. turning a little extra yeah. left, but it's getting out there nicely. Yeah, and that helps you start the ball down the right more so that it curves back. It's great. Yeah. It's right on the line. A flat flight that requires, you know, a little bit of run. Hmm. You, see, you were saying in the course you feel like you carry it about 210, you're bang on. Mm -hmm. Spot on, yeah. yeah. Absolutely perfect. Uh, but the good news is there's actually room for quite a bit more uh, on good. the carry. Yeah, which is good news. <laughs> so I think company-wise, you're, you're in a good company uh, with regards to the toe strike. You know, that, that twist face is, is kind of probably helping you a little bit with, uh, with the shot shape and uh, not... not turning too much right to left. I just think the biggest thing we need mm. to get is some loft in Cynthia's hands. It sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, because she's swinging it quite nicely, 95 yeah. miles an hour. There's lots Good of speed. pop coming off the, uh, the face. Just isn't staying in the air long enough, and I guess the low spin is causing a lot of that curvature to, I guess, get worse. Like, it doesn't need to curve that much left if it had a bit more spin and height on it. Exactly. 15 degrees of dynamic loft, which consistently it was around that. Um, yeah, very 15, consistent. 15, 15, 14. Yeah, so a little bit on the low side um, on dynamic loft. So we'd like to see that sneak towards maybe 17 to 18 mm. would be really, really nice for Cynthia. Just get that launch up in the air, definitely spin it more like 23. Um, and then you know, we'll start to see 220, 225 yeah. in there from that. She's got the raw ingredients for that for sure. 100%. Okay. Would you go with a little shaft change at the same time or do you just want to move the head? We'll, we'll do head first. Okay. Immediate difference. It's just such Ooh, a that nice good? balance ball flight, isn't it? That looks really good. A little low. Okay. Yeah. Well, Interesting good. though, because that low one isn't hooking super far left. No. It's staying on line. Yeah, good swing. Definitely better. Like you can see, it's yeah, it's not a little bit more carried, maybe. <clears throat> Curves a little less aggressive. Just a bit. Yeah. 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 So we're getting somewhere. Um, the, the launch and spin is moving in the right direction. We just lived a little bit low in the head. Uh, so we did gain in the carry, lost a little there. Looking more like the ball flight we want to see, bit more controlled. Definitely. But we, we definitely, we want to we wanna move that strike away from that toe side. Sounds good, okay. Shaft change. Thank you.
sounded great. Oh, it's coming back. Is it ever? I like that. Really good there. So really, I mean, biggest difference there is the strike is in a similar spot, but moving the weight back to the middle allowed the ball to gear, whereas when the weight was in the toe, it was kind of making it off stem uh, to the to the right. Makes sense. Ooh, identical. I feel like with like, this one, like I could I think actually that might be the exact same swing hard at it. Yeah. Actually, just a little bit better strike, even. Yep. Yep, more ball speed. That's pretty fantastic, isn't mm -hmm. it? Definitely hit the nice I love one. that flame. That's piped. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I mean, so far this looks like the best strike pattern and the best dispersion pattern. Yep. By some margin, and the numbers are actually quite good. Good, really good. Pretty good too. Definitely, the misses were by far the best of that. Maybe isn't the quickest one we've seen. Yeah. But these numbers were in a pretty good spot. Yeah. yeah. You'd like to see this more like the 219 that we saw at one point. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, good is that? Look at that. What? Uh huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, Do it. Go, go. It. Oh, oh, my God. God. Come on. <laughs> oh. There are so many good things that just. Oh. Happened. Okay. The mystical, magical autoflex continues. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, the launch, the spin, good ball speed. I think just towards the end of the session, maybe the club speed's down a bit better than that. Club speed there. No, yeah. not really. So picked, picked it back up a little bit, caught it a bit high toe, but what a, <laughs> Can't what a shot in at 250. That's pretty good, too. Just carry on it. Okay. This is so good. It's just up there with with no spin. It's lovely. And it, you can tell like your speed is, is kind of a, a little bit on the slide, Cynthia. You can you can just tell, but we made you hit about hundred balls already. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. But to get more distance with less club head speed, look at the three strikes that this just, just, just this looks them. awfully familiar, doesn't it? Just finding that little zone. 14 and a half launch. This is such a perfect little spot. We always talked about six and six. Yes. You know, it's the magical numbers. Okay, uh, so the fit took a, a bit of an unexpected twist. It did. At the end, we were running through some different shafts, seeing some good things. Yeah. But nothing brought it all together. I agree. Uh, ping was good. We were trying some VA Nemesis, quite nice. Definitely. Ventus with Titleist was great, but just again, it just didn't quite. I mean, if we throw that actually in the middle, because that one was really close, it, wasn't it? It was, it was good, it was good. But as you can see, the three tiers and the flights, you know, mm. the, the, the blue, the red, we were, we were lacking the, the launch angle. We really wanted to kind of get that apex up and, and maximize that carry distance. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. There's nothing came even close. No. The minute Autoflex went in, the first swing, it launched at like 14 degrees. Not to mention it almost went in at 250, but like nothing else could achieve that. And you would have had to go crazy with different heads and different lofts, and then you're going to introduce spin and all kinds of issues. And I think for uh, Cynthia, just last few swings of the day, I mean, the speed was actually, if anything, going down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've got the, the most out of, of the least amount of speed. Which is interesting, like your next set or your next session with this built up with yeah. the club head speed you normally have, you might start seeing that trickle over 250, 255 maybe. Absolutely. No problem there, yeah. you just got all the inputs. Yeah, uh, great thing with this Titleist driver, anytime you move the weight into the toe of anything, you blocked it. Anytime it was in the middle, you had a tendency to turn it over. 
having that fifth yes. setting, the mid, the mid toe T1, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's a neutral T1, T2, neutral H1, H2. So in T1, uh, with two grams extra weight, was was just a little sweet spot for you, because uh, you can see where the strikes were located. Mm. They were up in that toe section. So um, we had a little bit of gearing from that little gear effect but certainly not too much. We got that dynamic loft up nicely. No doubt about it in my mind, the shaft into lead deflection was, so the, was cool. the key uh, so to cool. that. So And the swing dynamics were probably some of the best anyway. Yeah. 2.7 in to out and four up is about, I mean, I don't, you don't stuff. need to swing any better than that. You know, any, any thoughts on, on any, any, any kind of comments on, on, on the driver fit, you know, was that unexpected? What, what did you find from that? Yeah, really unexpected. I thought that I'd be put into, like kept the same head or like mm. into yeah. a ping. Mm -hmm. Driver never thought I'd be in, in the Titleist. In the Titleist, yeah. yeah. Or like yeah. the TSI 3, thought it'd be the 2. The mm. 2, and we tried mm -hmm. the 2. Yeah, Just didn't wasn't, like it, no. Yeah, we didn't like, uh, yeah. didn't like it for you, and, and you, you, you were less confident with the shape of the head yeah. and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, TSI 3 Worked out just great. continues to, to impress us and, and cover such a wide range of players. Great job. Yeah. That is not easy. <laughs> a lot of swings. A lot of swings. Yeah, I'm a little tired. Yeah. Should be. I don't know how you do it, Matt. I don't know either. I don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's well trained by now. Three yeah. years of practice. I've had a, yeah, I've had a few more uh, reps under my belt. Yeah. True enough. Good stuff. Okay, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I mean, lots of you. I know there's going to be a really significant portion of our viewership who can relate to Cynthia's yes. uh, speed. Um, you know, I'm sure not not everyone's going to be at the same you know skill level as she is, mm -hmm. but. You know, really, really good and, and very representative of, of a, a significant oh, amount absolutely. of people, um, male Tons. and female, which is great, which yeah. is exactly what we want. So, um, love to hear Cynthia's kind of feedback on it as we as we go down the line and and what club fitting ultimately is going to do. It'd be great to get some Arcos sensors on your clubs. Yeah, we should do that for you next know, season. Yeah, track this and, and see how the improvements are. I'd love to see that. That'd be cool. Right. Get you to get the spotlight yeah. really on you. No <laughs> pressure. So next time we're going to work on, yeah. we'll get the irons built up. Yeah. We'll do the little gapping session mm -hmm. and then, then it'll be time to work on the woods and the hybrids. Exactly yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Definitely. Great. Good. Excellent. All right, guys, stay tuned for that. We will see you again soon.